Hi there, here's a little bit more about what Venus might be doing in each of the signs over June. As you may or may not know, there's going to be quite a rare astronomical event um, for on the 5th and into the 6th of June when uh, we will be able to see Venus going across the face of the Sun like a little tiny dot. Obviously, you've got to wear the right sort of eye coverings to be able to see it. Um, but this is very rare. Uh, these sorts of uh, transits of Venus come in pairs once every over a hundred years so once this one is done nobody alive today will ever see it happen again um, and it's um, going to be on June the 5th starting universal time at around 10 p.m. about 10 past 10 p.m. Um, a universal time and then it will be finishing that's on June the 5th and then it will be finishing on June the 6th at 4.50 uh, AM and um, in Europe I don't think you'll see it but it will be visible from um, North America the anywhere in the Pacific Australia and Eastern Asia so those of you who are interested may like to, to uh, go outside and have a look at that but also those of you who want to work consciously with this Venus energy in this very important year on our calendar 2012 um, and this never to be repeated transit of Venus not in our lifetime anyway then um, I thought I'd just mention a few things Venus is about the heart and Gemini is um, about the mind it's about our thoughts and how we communicate uh, and maybe we could be extra aware uh, and careful to watch what we're thinking <laughs> and also perhaps strive to link um, our heartfelt feelings to the way we are expressing that um, to others. Um, we all go around chattering to ourselves. There's so much chatter in this world, this monkey chatter that goes on, and the mind talk is often a habit that we're not really very much aware of what that mind talk is sort of feeding us and what, where we picked up things which are not actually based in fact at all. So, um, if you imagine, you know, a whole planet of six billion plus uh, people uh, doing this, uh, then globally the power of many minds can uh, even affect the weather. And uh, there's some interesting evidence of this. And so the advice uh, has got to be uh, to perhaps use this transit of Venus in this very mentally orientated side, Gemini. Um, to to um, direct to go go into your heart to 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 then direct your thoughts through your heart outwards and towards perhaps how you'd love to be in the future how you'd like it to be for nearest and dearest or how you'd love to see this beautiful earth which spells heart the earth e a r t h spells heart. Um, so this beautiful earth and we her children and how we we'd like to see that for us all in the future but venus going across the face of the sun in this powerful conjunction with the sun with the solar energy pulsing through her is actually going backwards so she's going retrograde uh, whilst we can see her going across the sun and retrogrades, uh, we've heard about, lots of, lots of you may know about Mercury retrogrades, but the other planets go retrograde as well. And uh, so when Venus goes retrograde, we've got to work harder and be more patient and tolerant and diplomatic, you know, and sweat a little bit with trying to be diplomatic and patient to find that harmony, to find that balance. And, of course, this is worldwide, so... Um, you know, those in positions of power are going to have to uh, work and sweat a little bit with this one throughout the whole of the retrograde, I think, and that's going to be up until the 27th of June, but this is when it's at its peak. Retrogrades give us the chance to be more thorough and take time over things because there's generally hold-ups and delays and kind of um, blips, really, and obstacles uh, and hoops to jump through and obstacles to get over. Old issues uh, may rise to the surface in relationship uh, and or financial matters, property matters left unfinished in the past may now come up for your attention. You know, they need to be dealt with. Uh, you may have to work harder negotiating or being diplomatic um, or perhaps brokering a deal or however it is for you. 
And, uh, of course, this uh, Venus also rules money, you know, and this transit of Venus through Gemini may also concern commerce worldwide, and it's likely that there will be changes affecting the balance in the money markets, currency exchange, stocks and shares, I mean, even more so than there is already. Um, and perhaps um, during this a time of, uh, you know, basically good energy uh, of Venus, uh, a, a fairer method, and um, fairer methods, uh, a more, more just way of doing things will, will be um, searched for, if not discovered and set in place, but definitely searched for, for um, and maybe in the pipeline, but of course all needs to be negotiated and um, set in place. That's going to be happening gradually. So using the Venus energy to put that intention out there in a very powerful way if you want to work consciously with this energy. Now for the signs, for you Aries, Venus is, as I say, retrograde until the 27th and although you've got to be more patient, it's more likely you will get supportive feedback and encouragement from certain others, but you've just got to work harder for it. Uh, and just be more careful the way you deliver your opinions uh, or speak your feelings. Um, and also this transit could favorably connect you Aryans with siblings or soul brothers and sisters. And um, the energies flow better from the 27th onwards. Uh, Taurus, this is the right time to negotiate a deal. Um, and certain relationships may be centered around possessions. Uh, property, finances, and that will come up now, and you've got to work a bit harder at that. Uh, teamwork could result in better health, um, or a fatter piggy bank, uh, more security, but as Venus is retrograde until the 27th, um, you've just got to be more patient and persevering um, until late June, and then the picture starts to, to brighten. Uh, Gemini, you, you are on the headline news here because you have Venus in your sign and whenever Venus does do this very special and rare transit across the face of the sun, it will be in, in the region of Taurus, Gemini. So for you, Gemini, it would be better uh, to be teaming up with someone. Uh, this will help you make the most use, uh, best use of perhaps assets, major or minor, or open the door to other useful resources or um, 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 material um, advantages in some way. And uh, good things are likely to come through certain contacts which are likely to be female because Venus is a very female energy, but um, it might not be male or female, it's just uh, perhaps heart, relationships with a heart link, so that can be either gender and uh, relationships tend to be relationships that are centered around property uh, possessions um, you know your physical uh, kind of comfort zone finances uh, use of assets uh, um, and improvements in physical well-being uh, um, are likely to be highlighted but as Venus is retrograde till the 27th that means that you've got to take the longer view you, you, you can't expect instant results um, so you just, for one reason or another, so you've just got to be patient and persevering here. Cancer, uh, Venus is retrograde until the 27th, which may demand more selfless understanding of others or more necessity to look after yourself. So definitely a time when others are more likely to be leaning on you and you feel the pressure of supporting certain people, um, that you have to really draw that line in the sand to look after yourself. Um, and take time to nurture mind and body whenever you get the chance, but you've just got to engineer it and really push for it. Uh, but also others are likely to, you know, be kind of demanding as well. So um, it will go slowly until the 27th, but um, use the, the Venus energy um, to help you, particularly setting that intention out there over the 5th and the 6th of June, or perhaps from the 4th to the 8th of June. Um, if you can't make it uh, uh, during the most powerful point, uh, which is the 5th and 6th. Leo, uh, for you Leo, uh, friendships, new and old, group gatherings, uh, using the internet, um, all, all of that type of te techno thing could be materially beneficial. It might be to do with equipment as well. 
um, or programs or whatever. Uh, so in general, friends and groups and anything to do, anything on the sort of cutting edge, really, will generally facilitate a positive experience, alternative um, uh, group gatherings as well. Um, but because Venus is retrograde until the 27th, that you just got to be more patient, more persevering, work a bit harder, dot the I's, cross the T's, spend more time getting things balanced in, in perspective, and then Venus starts to flow better in the last couple of days of July after the 27th. For you, Virgo, some of you can have a very positive impact professionally at this time uh, because of where Venus is and have a good interaction with bosses, parents, guides, but you will need tolerance and patience and firmness and yourself showing direction, yourself um, getting, you know, making the right impression and being um, a, a almost like dogged and persevering uh, and up until the 27th uh, that is and thereafter relationships which support your direction, direction in life will flow more easily but use, that, use the power of that energy over the, the 4th to the 8th particularly the 5th and 6th to put your intention out there so um, give it some of your attention Libra uh, long distance relationships publications or education, educational type, type, academic or educational type um, environments could encourage um, um, success um, or benefit you materially, um, like somebody in an advice giving environment, whether that's a teacher or, or, or somebody who's got a certain expertise in a certain field. Um, all of that's generally supportive um, and you as well may be required to share your knowledge um, or to get your head around things, but as Venus is retrograde, um, you have to be more diplomatic, you've got to be more on the ball mentally, and you've got to be more patient, and then from the 27th onwards, onwards the energy starts to flow more easily. Uh, Scorpio, uh, Venus is retrograde, um, and so during that period, relationships, personal or professional, uh, may get more involved. You may feel more, a little bit more tangled there, um, sort of pretty up close in a way, and, you, and, it, and it touches your feelings it, or it pushes your buttons, and you have to be more conscientious, you've got to be more responsible and keep on top of things and definitely keep certain opinions under wraps. Uh, but then from the 27th onwards, as I say, it, uh, the, the, the Venus energy starts to flow better and more easily. Um, and uh, work with that energy over the 5th and the 6th if you, if you really want to put, set your intention out there for the future for yourself personally but also for us all. Uh, Sagittarius, potentially a good time for love relationships, cooperative alliances, negotiations and finding common ground, um, personal through relationships, personal and professional, but they need more patience and um, almost like you taking more trouble uh, and you being more tolerant and persevering until, of course, Venus goes direct on the 27th and then um, it, things start to flow better. And then for you, Capricorn, uh, practical teamwork is favorably highlighted. You really get something done with somebody else. Uh, you may have to coordinate um, <clears throat> with somebody uh, related to the job, related to chores, related to health. Uh, but certain others will be glad to give you a hand and um, whenever necessary or the tools or a venue perhaps it is but how but because of this retrograde situation you've just got to push for it harder um, you may feel a direct a strain on on you but you just got to be patient and you're good at that Capricorn you can do patience and persevering and get things more how you, to get to get things more how you want them to be but Overall, you're likely to get the help. It's just that um, you've, got, you've got to work, work harder for it. Um, and then from the 27th, th things start to flow more, you know, and uh, you feel as though you're not having to sweat so hard over these things. And you can work with this energy um, in, uh, with Venus when the sun is conjunct uh, Venus. You, Aquarius, Venus is in a more spontaneous, fun-orientated area. Um, it may be that you're... you're um, 
uh, feeling more enterprising and enthusiastic and uh, or m- maybe um, your pride is at stake over something and you're feeling more competitive and tempted to take a gamble on something um, but that's to do with the retrograde you see because um, you just got to plan more carefully for, for things which normally should really feel like in, enjoyable you know but you've got, got to plan more carefully you've got to work harder you, you've got to be more patient and um, uh, and then from after the retrograde period then, then things start to flow more easily and that's on the 27th so from the end of the month but uh, if you want to work with the Venus energy to set the intention out there in a conscious kind of a way then do that particularly over the 5th and 6th but really between the 4th and the 8th uh, Venus, uh, for you, sorry, Pisces, Venus is uh, uh, at the root of your solar chart going retrograde until the 27th and it may mean um, more work to create the conditions externally at home or with family members or tribe or within an environment that you prefer which helps you to feel balanced but it's not just externally, it's internally as well so working on your stuff, being patient with your stuff being persevering with yourself and um, actually getting out into nature is, is a very good thing for you um, at the moment because uh, nature it loves unconditionally and is always connected to source so um, uh, yeah and, and that would be but um, you might be liking to um, embellish your, your space wherever that is that would be a good time to, to sort of get out of your own self and do that or, or be visiting or be visited um, and it's a good time to benefit materially through property however up until the end of uh, uh, up until um, the 27th it, things will be going a little bit more slowly they've got to be more dogged you've got to be putting one foot in front of the other and you will get there but if you'd like to help us all which is kind of your thing Pisces then work with the Venus energy um, for however you know many minutes you can spare over the 5th and the 6th um, of June particularly but uh, between the 4th and the 8th and um, you know do it more than once <laughs> and that's it that's all of the signs and uh, the Venus occultation the Venus uh, retrograde trance it across uh, the face of the sun on June the 5th and the 6th 2012 and I hope that was interesting and I'll see you the next time <laughs>